Okay, so on this article um, regarding Danger, a.k.a. Monica from The Love of Ray J, um, it states on YouTube, Monica said that she had been molested her whole life as an infant or even as an infant. She was a victim of ritual sexual abuse. Um, she suggested that she may have up to at least 10 altars. After leaving college, she changed her name to Butterfly, which strongly suggests that she had gone through the MK Ultra. And that's basically um, just them programming them under mind control. If you guys don't know, you can look that up. They have so many articles and videos regarding MK Ultra and even how it was used back in the day to use as a weapon um, back in the day for wars and all of that other good stuff. So um, this girl basically is just saying that she went through a lot like. Even as a child, she went through a lot being in the industry. So this next article states, Monica has a large tattoo of a tiger on her face. She said that she put that tattoo on her face while going through some mental changes. The prominent cat symbol indicates special sex kit and programming. So a lot of these kids or a lot of these people that's in the industry, they are either industry plants or they are um, MK Ultra babies. So she stated, I have done porn pictures. I've been an exotic dancer and I've also done some prostitution. And that's something that I really didn't want to just talk about right away because it's a scary, scary thing. It has such a negative connotation to it. But I was a prostitute for about two and a half years. And, you know, I was making a lot of money. I had all this cash shopping, etc. In a YouTube video that she has that has been removed, she claimed to have been um, trained in martial arts and boxing, indicating that she is a possible sleeper trained to kill on command. Now, I believe this to a certain extent because um, even if you watch Stranger Things, she was made in a lab and she was made to kill on command. So it's just like they be coming out with these shows and this in these movies and they be telling you in plain sight what they're doing behind the scenes. Like do you ever think of where they where they get these ideas from? Like it's just crazy. So this article states in 2009 she shaved her hair off due to mental stress and was involved in some type of alarming incident with her newborn um child. So basically it's saying her infant baby may have been ritually sexually abused by others as it has been done to her, which may have driven her off the deep end, threatening to expose the entire sadistic operation. In one of her YouTube videos, she clearly said they can't fuck her before she was cut off and her attention di directed elsewhere. She had been triggered into a self-destruct auto per Alter personality declared insane and forced into the mental institution for seven days, reprogrammed or wiped clean to protect her sources. This article states, um, Walt Disney Productions have played a major role in the monarch mind control programming and some of their children's films are being deliberately constructed um, with monarch trigger triggers and keys. So a lot of this is going on with Walt Disney um this is dated back to way back then. So it's just crazy that there's so much stuff that's being done behind the scenes. And like I said, a lot of stuff we are oblivious to. So um, this article is just piggybacking my last video regarding um, B2K in them. So this is, um, and got something to do with Ray J. In this mess, Ray J's name commonly, commonly pops up as one of Chris Stokes' boy sex victims. Among these young brothers, they say that Chris Stokes, Marcus Houston, and a few others throw ritualistic initiation parties just like babies, New Orleans, Lucifer, Santana Coven with young, talented boys to guide them as far as they can go through um, sexual perversion and abuse. Ray J and Marcus Houston, above, along with other members of Immature, used to have sleepovers at Chris Stokes' house. They say that Ray J lost his virginity to one of the boys back in the 90s. So this is just crazy. That's why I think, like, all of this stuff is not just happening to Ray J with him being sick and he keep dying, his hair blind. You see him with Wendy Williams and just people that just just look weird as fuck. Like, I really think for some reason that Brandy is coming back in the spotlight and I don't know, maybe that's her sacrifice. But this says Brandy and her parents were well aware that Ray J was being ritually sexually abused and initiated into Chris Stokes' boy sex sex um, toy caught 
but cashed in on the Illuminati's secret blood oath covenant for fame and fortune. It's a family business. And I can believe that because they all started off young. Like Brandy, even Brandy was around B2K and all of them. So who's to say that, you know, she wasn't being touched either. So these articles is just crazy. Like I was just looking like he could really be their sacrifice and then in this picture he just looked gone like he don't look the same like you could tell his eyes is just very dark like and then with Brandy and Monica I don't know they were the last two um when uh Whitney Houston was uh they was having that meeting with Clive Davis and Whitney Houston had walked in and they passed them that note I don't know I don't trust them <laughs> But yeah, so like I was saying, I honestly feel like Ray J is right now under MK Archer. They saying first he was he had COVID, then he went in, he didn't have COVID, he has pneumonia and none of his family didn't see him. Then he made a video state I mean a um post stating that his family did see him. And then if you think about it, like do y'all ever notice like some of these celebrities you go on their page and all of their pictures are gone? Like, that's another form that they're being, they're under mind control because they basically have to erase everything, you know, from their previous mind so that, you know, basically like starting all over. So I go on Instagram on Ray J's page and he has no pictures up at all. Like, that is a red flag. If you go on YK Osiris page, he don't have any pictures up. That's a red flag. So I don't know what's going on, but this is crazy. Even like even the story with about the girl from For the Love of Ray J, like she was coming out saying that um Ray J is bisexual. He has um a personal sexual relationship with Young Buck. She was just saying all kind of things and just to know that she was going through all of that stuff as a kid, that should let you know that they are really they are really doing this. And it's just not no telling how many kids they done did this too so let me know what you guys think about this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment below thank you here from lover ray j okay and she came to my party starts for haiti i thought girlfriend came out to support uh, and i'm a little concerned because you was my favorite on lover ray j and now i'm meeting you you in person and i'm just wondering like are you really crazy i'm crayon that's again Black. No, crazy, not Creole, crazy. Like, is everything okay? I'm Korean Mexican, I'm not black. So you equate so do you, so do you, you equate black I have a with doctorate crazy? degree. You do. And so why did did you did you buy it? Why would they sell it? I mean, why From would Harvard. Oh my god. Okay, right, let's keep it real. So you work on your own reality show. What's it called? Yeah, here's somebody Whatever the fuck I wanted to be called. So why are you here? Are you really here to start to, to like support Haiti or are you just here to like start shit? Why don't I be starting shit? Because you don't answer any questions directly. You just keep talking. And you know everybody about to get you because of the stuff you've been saying about Ray J. Isn't it that true? Ray J is bisexual. Hey, are you still saying that? Yeah. Did you really sleep with him? Did you sleep with him? Because you, you thought she was pregnant, right? Good girls don't kiss and tell. Okay, but you said that he was bisexual. So did you do it with a condom or did you know he was bisexual beforehand or after? Good girls don't kiss and tell. You're lying because we just did a radio. We just did a blog talk radio show with Milan and you told it all. With and danger. you was on a Devin's playground and you told it all. With danger. So now so now you're not telling it all. Now you meet Monica, Cobra. Hi. No, you're still oh, danger. I know who the hell you are. You're still danger. So you got anything yeah, like to say to your fans or to hello? Because I ain't lying. I keep it real. And I'm telling you, like, I was trying to be cool because you was up on stage and you wouldn't go. And everybody thought that was like an act that we playing. But I'm thinking, like, you really, really got some proof. Like, is everything good? And I was all empathetic and feeling for you. But, like, are you serious? I'm very sober right now. <laughs> Drinking water. Yeah, because, I mean, you act like that and you're sober. <laughs> yeah. Then that's why you should get therapy. How about celebrity rehab? Would you do celebrity rehab? I own a few rehabs. You, wanna... you don't own a damn rehab. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Shit, my parents are alcoholics anonymous. All I'm saying is you can't get up here and you ain't gonna keep it 